Good afternoon, everybody, and happy Thirsty Thursday. Don't forget to water your plants. I, um, I've been doing some sorting and consolidating, etc. and my neck is all jacked up, but I've been dealing with my neck for a long time. So we'll see how I do with this <laughs> while I'm doing my devotion. Should be an interesting trip because I can feel like it's the weirdest thing when I put this on. It's there's things I feel. <laughs> I love this tens unit. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine life without one of these. In addition to everything else I use. So we're gonna start off. It's May 19th, 2022. Don't forget to water your plants. And I'm in 365 gifts. And to, it's number 139 in this book. And the title is Accepting Yourself. That's important. Ouch, I'm going to take these off. Mm. I can feel it working on my face, too. That's the wildest thing. If you've never tried a TENS unit, it is a wild. So if you have any ailments, pains, you name it, it wears your muscles out. And mine, apparently, are wound up tighter than a top. That's what my acupuncturist and my chiropractor has told me. You are wound up. Then God said, Let us make my mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. Genesis 1, verse 26. The face stares back at you in the mirror. Oh boy, yesterday I did a mirror mirror on the wall. I, I said, you know, she tried to make herself beautiful by sucking the, the, the youth out of um, young, young princesses or maidens. And in the end, she died. You can't bear to look at the wrinkles, the double chin. You turn sideways to look at your profile, then groan as you notice the protruding belly and saggy upper arms. This isn't the image you hope to see, but it's your reality. How did it come to this? For a minute, you're tempted to despair. Then, just as quickly as you shift gears, who cares if your skin is wrinkly? or your midsection rounded. Why not just enjoy the body you've been given and thank God that you're healthy and alive? There's a, there's a thought. For that matter, why not accept that you're okay just as you are? Why are people constantly wanting to change what God gave them? I don't understand that. Accepting yourself. Loving yourself as Christ loves you is so vital to your mental and emotional health. It's also important to your spiritual health. After all, if you're so busy beating yourself up, you don't have much time left to thank the one who created you in the first place. If you're worried about getting Botox to smooth out whatever, and, or nipping here and tucking there and raising here and Lord, I'm tired of beating myself up. I'm ready to get on with the task of loving myself in spite of my flaws. I don't call them flaws. I call them life. I've got scars. They're my war wounds from things that I did, choices that I made. They're there to remind me, don't do that again. Or, or oh my gosh, you remember when I did that? Oh my gosh. Please forgive me for being so self-absorbed, for caring too much about the, this outer shell, Father. Help me, I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ooh, my ear is vibrating now. <laughs> it's like this little like shot of electricity. Like, yeah, wow, it's wild. But I need it because this is where I'm having issues. I wanted to stick it clear up here, but I went right here because I know that when I've had acupuncture, 
I'm, I'm having a lot of problems right here. So, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this devotion. Stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Hannah's not beside me. She's on the bed like queen of the castle. <laughs> I think she's, she's, she's stepping into the role of Princess Harley quite, quite well. Just an ornery little turd. And her sister was just like that. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I've got more coming up. See you all later. Talk to all bunches and bunches. Bye.